Hey there! In today's video, we're going to talk about seven surprising ways to make your relationship better and create more intimacy. Stay until the end because the seventh tip helps wrap up all of the tips together. And whether you've been with your partner for a while or in a new relationship, these tips will help you create a stronger bond. So first tip, spend time apart. I know it might sound strange, but a challenge I see in both new and long-term relationships is that they spend time together. Now, while they're dating, there's a lot of excitement and newness, so being together all the time is engaging and perhaps even a little bit addicting. Whereas in longer partnerships, we get used to being around each other so much that we forget to actually enjoy time together. Have you ever noticed that? This is why taking a break from your partner is essential for personal growth and independence within your relationship. You get to take care of yourself and perhaps do something or spend time with people that your partner may not find so exciting. Plus, you may find that your partner's bothersome habits will trigger you less and you'll be more patient. As a bonus, your special someone will have time to miss you. Next, when you're together, have some intentional time to create intimacy of all kinds. Perhaps do something different or spontaneous Psychologists say to focus on novelty, variety, and surprise. In fact, research shows that after weeks of interesting dates, participants rekindled their love and couples felt closer than they had before. But if going out isn't your thing or your home a lot, then intentionally create moments of intimacy and connection. Small gestures keep the spark alive and remind your partner that you're thinking about them. So think about what are these things your significant other might enjoy, then do it. You can do something as simple as bring a mug of coffee to bed, volunteer to do one of the other's chores, send a provocative text, hug your sweetie, meet your loved one at work for a surprise date, Gift your partner with chocolate. Leave lingerie on the bed. Make eye contact and actively listen. Wrap up a small gift. Pen I love you in lipstick on the bathroom mirror. Leave a cute or a sexy sticky note on the front door or maybe even on the car steering wheel. And those are just a few tips. Now, another challenge I see when people have been together for a while is they either get on the exact same schedules or more commonly, they get off schedule from each other. It's important to go to bed at the same time, at least a few times a week. If you're looking to amp up your intimacy when you're apart, take some time during the day to flirt over the text. Keep flirting and engaging when you get home and then head to bed together, even if there's no expectation for anything beyond cuddling. Did you know that most American adults aren't getting the recommended seven to eight hours of sleep per night? It's crucial to sync your bedtime with your partners to improve your relationship. In fact, they know that couples who go to bed at different times report more conflict and less sex than those that head to bed together. Your third tip is to reduce your screen time. Studies have found that people are bothered by their partner's mobile phone usage, which leads to distractions and less meaningful conversations. Have you ever felt like someone was paying more attention to their phone than to you? It's not so fun, is it? So put away your phone and engage with that person that you care about. Tip number four, be vulnerable. It can be challenging, but building trust and respect by sharing your emotions, your needs, your wants and desires, especially when it comes to being intimate or sexual, can enhance the bond with your partner. For example, perhaps you want to try something new in the bedroom, but don't know how to bring it up. Be curious about your underlying fears, hesitations and doubts and sharing them with your partner in a fun and playful way can create deeper intimacy. Notice any deeply held beliefs about yourself or relationships that may be impacting how you interact. 
Some are blind spots that you may not even realize that you have. By sharing ideas and doubts with your partner, you can create a loving process that builds trust. So fifth, focus on the positives. It's become so common to complain about the old ball and chain or doing what my wife or my husband or my girlfriend or my boyfriend is or isn't doing. Have you ever complained about your partner? Where your focus goes, energy flows, and it impacts intellectually, emotionally, and hormonally how you respond to your partner. Healthy and happy marriages offer a rich climate of positivity, and for every negative interaction during conflict, a stable and happy marriage has five or more positive interactions. So, try to offer five times as many positive statements in your discussions including your arguments and disagreements. For example, a happy couple will say, well, we do laugh a lot, instead of, we never have any fun. Show appreciation for the traits and the actions that your partner does that you enjoy. Encourage them by showing appreciation in return. The sixth challenge I see for all the lovebirds out there who fight, realize first that fighting can actually be good for your relationship. But wait, there's a catch. It's not about winning or losing. It's about how you fight. Have you ever said anything in a fight that you regret? Enter John Gottman, the relationship guru who studied over 3,000 couples for 40 years. He found that eye rolling and showing contempt are major no-nos, which should be kind of obvious. But what's the right way to do it? Use a gentle tone and polite words. Avoid blaming or criticizing your partner as that can only make things worse. Be thoughtful and edit what you say. Instead of blurting out every negative thought that comes to mind, pause and breathe or take a break. Remember, you love and care for this person and you want to maintain respect. You can also offer repair attempts. These are little gestures or comments that are meant to calm things down. You could try using humor, touching your partner, or saying something caring like, I can see this is tough for you. It also helps to find common ground like saying, we both want the same thing. And according to Gottman's book, The Seven Principles for Making Marriage Work, repair attempts are the actual secret weapon of emotionally intelligent couples. So don't be afraid to fight. Just make sure that you fight fair. And number seven, and this is really key, express gratitude. It's so easy to take your partner for granted when they're around or when they're not around, especially during difficult times. Expressing gratitude for their presence and efforts can help strengthen your relationship and create a more positive dynamic. So there you have it. Seven surprising ways to make your relationship better. Go ahead and subscribe below and remember... Which tip do you think will help your relationship the most? Let me know. You are loved. You are loving. You are lovable. Be well.